Hello, I'm Scott Wilson, and uh, today we are going to go down and we're going to try out a sensory deprivation tank or an isolation tank or an isolation chamber, whatever you want to call it. We've uh, I've just finished doing some shopping, and we're here to say hello to the most cutest of little cutie babies in the world. Whoa, it's Lily. Hello, Lily. How are you? This is my mum's cat, and she is probably the most adorable thing on the planet. And she's in taking a nap, and I'm interrupting her nap. I'm so sorry, Lily. She's like me or whatever, okay. She, she, she's actually uh, 14 years old, so... She's a little old lady, but she's more adorable. She's a little adorable cat, hello! She's, I, I, think, I think she likes this, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think she does. Alright, we'll, 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 uh, we'll leave her be to her nap. And I'm gonna make my way, but uh, once we get to the place, I'll be back with you soon. Alright guys, we're finally here. Uh, as you can see, the weather is uh, pretty, pretty shithouse out there. Just uh, one of those gross rainy days. It actually took me a while to get here because my GPS took me to the wrong Gilbert Street. And I was like, I got to Gilbert Street and I'm like, this is probably not where I'm supposed to be. And the answer was no, it wasn't. It was not where I was supposed to be. So uh, I'm going to make sure that I'm parked okay. And I'm going to make sure that I'm not going to get like a ticket or something. And then I'm going to chuck the camera away just while we walk a little bit of a distance. Because I don't want it to get wet. So I'll see you later. Alright, so we're here in uh, float mode now. I'm just looking at the uh, little room we've got. So I've been told that we've got to start all of our floats off with a shower and end them with a shower. So that's just the shower there. Wow. I've got my little, uh, my little, little ear, earbuds in there, make sure we don't get any water in there. And the actual, the actual tank is in this room over here. Whoa, look at this. This is like space or something. So you've got this like really, really little room. It's quite warm in here as well. It's nice. And the idea is you basically uh, hop in, that water is filled with like a shit ton of Epsom salts, so it's really really dense, and it makes you like weightless apparently. And then you've also got your like light switch over there, there's some music to start you off and that turns off after a while. So that'll be really interesting, I don't know what's in there, what's up there, ooh, stuff, how exciting. And uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, oh Jesus, I'm just going to have my shower, I'm going to hop in, and then I'll be back and tell you how it went. Cheese! Alright, we've uh, just finished our float. Um, very strange. Very strange. The feeling of like weightlessness is just unreal. You know, like because the, there's so much salt in the water, you actually shut up. You actually like rise to the top no matter what. Right? You can move your arms all the way down to the bottom and then it's likely you rise up anyway. So it's definitely a really strange feeling. Uh, once, the, once all the lights are out and you can't hear anything anymore, I think this is going some kind of clean. Once all the lights are out, it's really, really weird because you know where you're at, where you are, but your like, brain isn't processing anything because there's nothing to process. It's just pitch black. It's like this. Um, if I was going to try again, a couple of things I'd do differently. For one thing, I had a couple of cuts on my fingers before I uh, went in, and you know, it's just incredibly salty water. So, yeah, you, uh, you're going to have a bad time if that happens. It's, your fingers are going to hurt, etc. The other thing I did was my, uh, rub my eyes, also a bad idea, don't recommend that. Nope. But uh, other than that, it's uh, definitely, I mean, did I, did I go places? Some people like, you know, they, you, you know, talk about it and they're like, oh, drippy shit, whoa. I don't think that was really me. Kind of very relaxing. Didn't really go anywhere. My mind was maybe too focused on the fact of like where I was. So, you know what I mean? Maybe for like subsequent visits when you can kind of forget about where you are, then you can really go places. I think I got like a little bit bored right towards the end. I'm like, okay. I've floated for a while now, but uh, all in all, it was like a pretty, pretty good experience, you know, this thing, kind of nuts, look at it, it's cleaning now, I think, but yeah, I, uh, I would recommend trying it at least once, um, maybe it's your thing, maybe it's your jam, I don't know, anyway, I'm out, I'm gonna go uh, get some clothes on and then get out of here and go home, and yeah, alright, I'll see you later. So like this is the place next door to float mode and I swear to god this is like there would be people in there right? It's one of those Greek things, the, the burning bull, whatever it's called, where they go Whoa, whoa. 
Oh, I reckon that's what that is. That's a bit creepy.